the delivery dates of social security benefit payment schedule and fourth stimulus check update check this out we have recently received a new report regarding the jobs number unemployment rate and this report is kind of a shocking when it comes down to all those important numbers we have got some very important figures I have gathered tons and tons of resources, all the important reports, all the numbers, and I have got all the important details regarding a fourth stimulus check update. And this one specifically focused on people receiving social security, SSI, SSDI, survivors, people on retirement, VA, RRB, low income fixed income beneficiaries. I have got all the details right here in this video. When you can expect a fourth stimulus check, how much money can you expect? All the important details right here in this video. Without further ado, let's get right into it. However, quickly before we start, make sure to hit that like, share this video, subscribe to our channel if you like this video, and be sure to turn on all the bell notifications so you'll never miss new updates. And with that being said, let's jump right into all the details. Alright, guys, so let's discuss the current situation and assess the likelihood of such a stimulus payment. Let's talk about the current financial situation and where we currently stand. Money is the tight thing for many low income and fixed income households, but I wanted to provide you some assurity that I'm right over here to provide you the support the help in any way shape or form what it exactly means and where we currently stand in the fourth stimulus check all right now congress is currently working on several legislation and it's worth keeping eye on to important announcement from federal government and the congress regarding stimulus check update however guys before we deep down to the specifics let's understand the purpose of the stimulus check exact mechanism how stimulus check are introduced into the economy this usually happens when federal reserve decides to issue a stimulus check it's up to them they usually assess the state of the economy they assess the economic needs and determine how much money is required to help out people to recover from the current situation and the money is then printed out and injected right here into the economy however guys it's very very important to note that federal reserve provides stimulus check not out of their kindness but they do really understand when people receive their money through stimulus check rebates or any financial support that they are going to provide to the people instantly people will be going to spend those money spend those stimulus check into the economy for various sorts of a reason in various different sectors to get basic necessities foods groceries and other items this spending of the cash is crucial for boosting the state of the economy now the main intention behind stimulus money is to encourage quick spending so rather than saving those stimulus check in your bank account getting interest accumulating those money government recognizes the importance of getting that money right here into the economy through people like us they know the importance of getting money into economy efficiently when people spend their stimulus check on groceries clothing food items and other essential items then the money flows through various sectors into the economy ultimately a positive net impact is generated in entire economic sector numerous studies have shown that stimulus check are a very effective way to quickly stimulate the economy when it comes down to the next round of a stimulus check when the next round of stimulus checks are arriving remember that spending it not only helps the economy but also take care of your own needs so it's beneficial both for people as well as for the economy when everybody receives their stimulus check they tend to spend it let's say you need to buy necessities you need to buy groceries food items and basically all this leading to sudden surge in businesses for stores like walmart target 7-eleven mcdonald's these businesses find their inventory wiped out within few days as a result these businesses need to order more and more items from their suppliers and suppliers in turn rely on to the manufacturers to meet their increased demand onto their goods and services now you see this is like a chain effect once it rolls in it triggers entire chain effect which keeps all the dominoes falling off and it doesn't take much to initiate this small tiny effect to stimulate the larger state of the economy ultimately after stimulating Stimulating the economy through stimulus check and all those spending, it creates a positive impact into the businesses and people in need. Now moving on to the next round of stimulus check, the exact amount 
the eligibility criteria well this can be a little bit complicated let me explain now the final decision of the stimulus check depends on to the economic situation however guys as per the historical data we have got some exact figures in what kind of a range we can expect amount of the checks the eligibility criteria and let me show you now to determine the outcome of the stimulus check whether we can expect it or not first we need to consider several factors one of the most important factor is inflation inflation has been a hot topic recently and you might be wondering what does the stimulus check have to do with inflation well it's very important aspect because some people argue that issuing another round of stimulus check could contribute to further inflation increase however the key distinction here that we are talking about highly focused stimulus check going out to specific group of people for $1,400 targeted towards are approximately 30 to 50 million people granted compared to a distributing to entire population its targeted approach would have a lesser impact onto the inflation increase while there might be some debate about influence it's unlikely to cause significant inflationary effect moving on now to provide you some context let's go back in the previous rounds of stimulus check like i showed you now with the first round of stimulus check approved in march 2020 it took about two and a half weeks to reach individuals bank account talking about the delays well some people experience delays in receiving their checks due to number of factors including irs website crashing onto the first day of the payments and some people not having their direct deposit information onto the file with irs so those are the potential reason why the stimulus check got delayed but it generally took about two and a half weeks to reach individuals bank account moving forward to the second round of stimulus check second round approved on december 2020 started hitting the bank account within just 48 hours which is honestly quite impressive the majority of the payments were distributed within one week of period in the second round irs was more prepared due to the previous rounds of stimulus check so relatively the second round was very quick then moving forward the third round of the stimulus check well it faced a minor amount of delay for some low income fixed income beneficiaries it was approved on march 2021 and the delays caused in the third round of stimulus check happened due to irs being overwhelmed with the request for the payments however guys most people received their checks within the few weeks after the rollout of the payments from all of these three rounds of stimulus check we can expect the funds to be delivered between the approximately seven days at the time it's signed into the law or probably it will take at maximum about a week or so in the period of deep dark recession if economy needs a sudden help then governments do act quickly to help stimulate the economy now guys looking ahead what are the key indicators we should need to watch moving forward now throughout the 2020 i will be going to closely monitor the recent developments surrounding potential economic contractions or recession in the united states because such circumstances often prompt policymakers to consider additional run of stimulus check measures we also need to keep close eye on to federal reserves action the decision that they make regarding the interest rate and their response to the inflation will play a crucial role in shaping the economy and the entire economic landscape as per the recent news they are calling it a significant change for the fed rate hikes federal reserves actions than the decision they make regarding interest rate and their response to the inflation will play a crucial role shaping the economic landscape we must closely monitor the job market also the federal reserve and it's another indicator that reflects the overall health of the economy and the job market as per the recent report u.s economy adds 339,000 jobs in the month of may crushing the expectations but this report is kind of a mind-boggling despite the labor market surprising resilience there still remains a chance of 70 percent that the fed leaves the rate unchanged in a range of 5 to 5.25 percent and here is the important bit while this report does not believe today's report was strong enough to meet the bar for fed rate to hike but also raises the risk that federal reserve could raise the interest rate in the month of july as per the morgan stanley's chief u.s economist when it comes down to all the important key indicators that will provide insight into the job market the first one is non-farm payroll number it came in at 339,000. next one is the unemployment rate 3.7 percent another crucial aspect to consider is the number of new jobs being created we need to monitor how many people are finding new employment opportunities if job growth is occurring this information is part of monthly non-farm payroll number report and releases on first friday of every month by analyzing the job creation we gain a valuable insight into overall state of the 
job market. We must also take in consideration the initial jobless claims. We need to monitor the economic scenarios whether we see a sharp decline on those job numbers or we see a gradual decrease or a temporary dip followed by a quick recovery into the jobs number unemployment rate. What kind of economic scenarios we'll see? We'll answer to that question. Now I'm not taking any sort of a political stance right over here but here is the thing. Money always grabs people's attention so that's why it's important to closely monitor what's happening right before the elections whether politicians lawmakers are promising any stimulus checks when it comes down to how much can you able to receive to the stimulus check it all comes down to the severity of the economic crisis in history we have seen stimulus checks going all the way from six hundred dollars twelve hundred dollars one thousand four hundred dollars one thousand eight hundred going all the way up to two thousand four hundred dollars however guys currently no federal port stimulus check have been approved for any dollar value so let me summarize the july schedule once I get any latest detail, I will keep you posted. So make sure to hit that like, share this video, subscribe. And this is Kedar from How To Guys. See you in the next video.